Hi all and welcome to Fly Raccoon. Um, this is a game I really enjoyed. I've passed it on here before. I've played the HD version of PS3. So I'm ready to play another full length Fly Raccoon game. These are awesome. If you've never played one, I highly recommend it. So let's get started. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay. Okay, so the camera I need to change quickly. Rolls. Up, look up. Carrots, up, look. That should be all good. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yeah. Jeez, why not do that? My bad. Raccoon, I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? 
This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Okay, now to escape. I'm with a fox. Ha! You can't escape me, Raccoon. <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. When the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. While this icon is on screen, please do not turn off your system or remove the memory card. Is it me or is it Murray in the uh, generic, like, model pose? That was a nice yep. <laughs> piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Okay. I've already plotted a route to our first target. We're going to start next mission. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Lie Cooper in Tide of Terror. Terror, never. Unfortunately, I'm one for a uh, completionist sort of thing when it comes to this this sort of game. I like collecting all the bottles and all sorts of stuff like that. Hey, Sly! 
guy, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Yeah. Hey. I love collecting these things. Oh my goodness. You can find any more clues. It's been a while. <laughs> Get up there. How do you get up there? And there's a way to get up there. Oh, wait, hang on. That's how you get up there. You don't. You knock it down. Okay, so continue on. Up over here. enough to get up here okay so I don't think there was, ever was a bottle up there I don't think. Um, hold on Sly see those searchlights one careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion Are you done whining Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I could checkpoint your progress. Nice. Okay. Oops. Boom, shaka laka. Okay. Well, I got that. There we go. Got it now. Oh. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Ooh. Okay. Boom. Nope. Ugh. Oh, Please. That was not meant to happen. Circle button to grab onto hooks. There we go. Anything around here? Nope. Oh. 
not mess with me. Oh gee, don't mess with me, whatever. to get from each one. That. that large vault has... Bummer, you can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. Thanks. Can't go up that way. So... Oh, I'll do. Climb up and get the rest of these. Last two over there. Yep, cool. So I'm gonna try and get every single vault and every single, uh, every level. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Oh, okay, this move. Ooh. That helps in a lot of situations. In we go. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. We are about to get into the first levels of Raleigh's area I should say um yeah I'll uh I'll, 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 I'll I might make the episodes longer to all, all depends on how long the level is going to be and how many I can cram into one episode but this seems like a good enough level or a good enough time so I'll end this one here and uh I'll see you all next time